welcome back dear students we are moving to the 17th lecture in this class we are going to discuss about empirical estimation models especially SEL and WF methods that is we are estimating software project based on the software engineering laboratory SEL of University of Maryland and Watson Felix WF model at IBM. There are two approaches for software project estimation. First model is static single variable model and second model is static multivariable models. In these estimation models we use empirically derived formulas to predict the effort as a function of LOC or FP that is we use the number of lines of code or function point to predict the effort for the project estimation. So empirical estimation model is based on experience that is based on previous project experience the historical data of previous project is taken for the estimation of the project example approach of static single variable model is proposed by the software engineering laboratory SEL of University of Maryland the static multivariable model was developed by Walton Felix at IBM. In both models, we use an equation to estimate the desired values such as project cost or project estimated time or the project efforts, etc. All this estimation is depending on the same variable used as predictor for example line of code size or function point size an example of most common equation in static single variable or static multivariable model is in the form c is equal to a into l power b where c is the cost estimation L is the size or lines of code or function point anyway that is the size of the project L and A and B are constant values based on either static single variable model or static multivariable models. Now let us understand static single variable models. This method use an equation to estimate desired values such as cost, time and effort for the project estimation. It all depends on the same variable called as predictor or sometimes we say it as size. And as discussed in the previous slide, the most common form of this equation is C is equal to A into L power B where C is the cost, L is the size and A and B are constant based on the previous experience with the related projects. So in these equations the parameter L that is the size is normally measured as thousands of lines of code that is L the number of lines of code is measured in terms of thousands of lines. The software engineering laboratory of Maryland University SEL established this model and this SEL model is estimating the cost for their own software productions for different organization 
there can be their own models based on their experience an example of a single static variable model cost estimation can be like this effort we measure effort in with the unit person months so effort e is calculated as 1.4 into l power 0.93 so here the value of a is 1.4 and the value of b is 0.93 and l the number of lines is measured in terms of thousands of lines of code then the documentation estimation of the number of documents required for the project can be estimated as doc is equal to 30.4 into l power 0.90 then the duration normally the duration of the project is measured with the unit months d is calculated as d is equal to 4.6 into l power 0.26 here the variable l is predictor the predictor can be the size of the project this size as per the scl is measured as number of lines of code in terms of thousands now let us discuss static multivariable model static multivariable is also based on the common equation with predictor such as c is equal to a into l power b this model though based on the previous equation static multivariable models actually depend on several variables representing various aspects of the software development environment for example method used user participation customer oriented changes memory constraints etc are different factors to be considered during the cost estimation and this model was developed by waltson felix at ibm and it provide a relationship between delivered lines of code l and effort here also the number of lines of code delivered is measured in terms of thousands of lines effort unit is person month sometimes we will write as pm then d represents duration with units as months so as per watson felix the equations are e is equal to 5.2 into l power 0.91 d duration in terms of month project estimate can be 4.1 into l power 0.36 the productivity index uses 29 variables which are found to be highly correlated to the productivity with the equation as i is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to 29 w i x i where x i is the various aspects for the software development and wi is the weight that we give for these types of aspects we had estimated with weighing parameter uh, in the previous class in lecture 60 now for a better understanding about the scl and watson felix model let us do few problems problem compare the watson felix model with sel model on a software development which expected to involve 8 percent years of effort calculate 
the number of lines of code that can be produced calculate the duration of the development calculate the productivity then calculate the average manning so in this problem the effort is given as 8 percent years we know that the effort unit is in months so 8 percent years effort is given it means 8 years that is 8 into 12 months 96 months is the effort required which is given in the problem we know the estimation value e is equal to a into l power b is the format for sel and wf model for sel the value of a is 1.4 and b is 0.93 For Watson Felix the value of a is 5.2 and b is 0.91 The first question is to identify the number of lines of source code that can be obtained by reversing the equation e is equal to a into l power b which can be reversed and thus the equation number of lines of source code can be identified as L is equal to E divided by A whole power 1 divided by B. So substituting the value of E as 96 person months that is the effort required divided by substituting the value of A 1.4 then substituting the value of B so that we, we can calculate the number of lines of code as 94.4. 264 and this we know that the lines of code is measured in terms of thousands of lines of code so the actual number of lines of code is 94264 that means using the 96 person months effort this project right or estimate 94264 lines of code for the development of the project as per scl method and when we use watson felixson method there is a change with the constant values of a and b the number of lines of code is 24632 when we find the number of lines of code l we can calculate the duration for scl method and wf method we substitute the values of a b and l so that the duration will be 15 months we have to write the units of duration that is months or 13 months when we substitute when we use the formula of watson felix method then third question was to identify the productivity in lines of code produced per person month productivity is the lines of code produced per person month or it can be with per person year so we substitute the per person year value that is 8 year so total number of lines of code 94264 for scl method divided by 8 so that the productivity is 11783 line of code per person per year that is each person in a year write 11783 code lines of code then in watson felixson method total number of lines of code is 24632 divided by 8 so productivity is measured as 3079 line of code per person years now last question is to identify the average manning average manning is the average number of persons required per month in this project so 
manning can be identified with the equation as effort divided by duration here the effort is 96% months and duration as per scl method is 15 months so average manning will be effort 96 divided by duration 15 that is 6.4 persons are required as per scl method we can substitute the same formula with the values 96 divided by 13 as per the watson felix method so so duration in months as per watson felix is 13 months so manning is a fourth next topic that we have to discuss is the kokomo model that is cost constructive constructive cost model the cost constructive cost model will be based on three types basic intermediate and detail we will discuss kokomo model in the next class this is your homework Thank you.